some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Ontario, Oregon, with a softard who attempts to citizens arrest a uh, judge for, well, what he considers to be crimes against himself personally, which include treason, extortion, among other things, of course. But not only that, he has a plea hearing the next day in which he tries it again. And he posted the audio recording to this only a short time before a subscriber of mine pointed this video out to me. So we got a double uh, dose of this idiot. First, we're going to uh, view the uh, longer version of it. Then we're going to take a look at the audio recording he had in the courtroom. And it's pretty much just about the same insanity and uh, with the, uh, similar results. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I think I saw you in the jail yesterday. <laughs> oh, they fucked my ass out in there. That freezing cold to and everything. They did a number on me, for sure. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, what was that? Uh, this right here is a six page criminal complaint, uh, federal, concerning uh, first I'm doing citizen's arrest, and then I'm going to arrest people on all of those. Extortion, deprivation of rights under color of law, conspiracy against rights, treason, domestic terrorism, and conspiracy to attempt murder. A number of those fall under the Department of Justice, and uh, oh, it is only for them to investigate, such as uh, deprivation of rights under color of law and domestic terrorism. Now, as far as treason goes, I know you have your own definition later on, but that doesn't uh, mesh very well with what the Constitution actually says. Article 3, Section 3, Clause 1, treason shall... Uh, Tre treason against the United States shall consist only in levying war against them or in adhering to their enemies, giving them aid and comfort. No person shall be convicted of treason unless the testimony of two witnesses to the same overt act or on confession in open court. So basically, you have to be uh, giving aid and comfort to an enemy that we are currently at war with, and not because you're a butthurt little moron. Yeah, you got to do something about it, otherwise. All right, cool. Thank you. Don't end up in jail. <laughs> this thing plugged in? No, it's not. See that plug well, well, at least the Sovtar did something right in this video. He managed to point out a glaring flaw in this uh, courthouse's security. I mean, how is this uh, supposed to work if it's not plugged in? I mean, uh, come on now. And where is the uh, guard who's supposed to be looking after this checkpoint? I mean, there's just so many flaws right now that any dumbass can come in here and cause problems. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and skip to the uh, best part because, well, all he does for the next few minutes is uh, babble on about things that he doesn't understand, especially the fact that judges can uh, order uh, cameras not to be in the courtroom. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right. <laughs> Please be seated. <laughs> okay, next let's take up State of Oregon versus Kenny Walker, case number 24CR 07089. Are you recording right now, Mr. Walker? Oh, I don't answer questions. Pursuant to the Fifth Amendment. <clears throat> How am I supposed to... Uh, you don't have to answer. I'm not asking you a question regarding the crime. I'm asking you. Fifth Amendment, the uh, Court of the United States Constitution, uh, offers you a right to remain silent if, uh, for, I guess, a criminal prosecution and investigation. Are you 
uh, providing the legal uh, advice. A dude, uh, do you not uh, understand the difference between what advice is and what the facts of matter are? Because he was presenting you with facts of a matter rather than a course of action in a particular situation, which is what advice is, you piece of crap. You soft hearts just get dumber and dumber as time goes by. It's as if you forget definitions of the most basic words. Okay. So, are you recording right now? All right, I don't answer questions pursuant to the fifth. I will go ahead and invoke my Fourth Amendment right to be secure in my property and my First Amendment right to freedom of press, though. Now, we're going to get through this for anything if you don't want to answer my Do you, Are you waiting counsel? I am. Okay. Wait a second. I thought you didn't answer questions. But then again, he's going to be answering a few more questions later on. I guess it's just the questions they doesn't feel like answering that are the more complicated ones. The ones that will fry his brain if he thinks too much. Uh, did you fill out the waiver of counsel form? Uh, you should have it, don't you? Uh, do you not have it? Okay. You're answering my questions right now. Uh, I'll, I'm in charge of what I answer. I hold my own counsel. So... I'll decide. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. You have an electronic device that's uh, beeping on your chest. You're not allowed under rules to record during the uh, court proceedings. I don't know if you're recording or not. You don't want to answer my question. We are going to reset this to tomorrow, so you need to come back tomorrow at 1 o'clock. And uh, you shall have no uh, devices on you of any kind that could potentially be recorded. Okay. And uh, you do not hold your account. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and place you under a private person's arrest under ORS 133.225. I'm uh, including in this federal uh, criminal complaint uh, extortion, deprivation of rights under color of law, conspiracy against rights, treason, domestic terrorism, and conspiracy to attempt murder under RICO. At this time... Okay, okay, since you're a butthurt little solvetard, you're going to arrest him for crimes that uh, he most likely has not committed. I mean, a lot of those crimes that you have listed take a great deal of investigation by actual qualified professionals who know what the hell they're doing and not some dumbass who failed uh, second grade. I mean, come on now, dude. You suck at this. Deprive me of my First Amendment right to counsel. Not at all. You're welcome to apply for an attorney or hire an attorney. Well, you told me you didn't want one. I'm already placing you under arrest for treason. Treason is actually... Because treason is uh, something that enemy combatants do during wartime... No, treason isn't something that enemy combatants do during wartime. Because enemy combatants can't commit treason against a country they're fighting against you dipshit moron treason is essentially where a friend su supposedly friendly person from your own country betrays your country goes to the side or gives secrets away or any other information to the enemy during a time of war that could potentially help the enemy hinder hurt or defeat that person's home country. Enemy soldiers are not traitors unless they come over to our side to give aid and comfort to us, thereby betraying them. I mean, then they would be considered traitors to their own country. Do you see how that works? You actually don't get a trial. So from this point forward, you will no longer hold the bench anywhere because traitors are not allowed pub in public service. At this time, I'm placing you under arrest. I would like to get a bailiff to transfer custody of uh, Judge Hung, and then I would also like him to contact a federal agent to transfer custody. Mr. Walker, you can tell me you're under arrest already. Yeah, Pursuant to ORS 133.225, a private person may arrest another person for any crime committed in the, in the presence of the private person. If the private person has probable cause to believe the arrested person committed the crime, I do have that. 
A private person making such an arrest shall, without unnecessary delay, take the arrested person before a magistrate or deliver the arrested person to a peace officer. Is there a magistrate here to deal with this? No. You will never sit the bench again because you've been accused of treason, and you don't get a trial because we're at war. Let me give you two options right now. Option number one is um, you come back tomorrow um, without any kind of potential recording device, and we can complete this process. Option number two is I can find you in contempt for inability to complete this process. You're not a judge, and in fact, you're in my custody. So which option would you like to go with? At this time, I'm going to invoke my uh, Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Let me ask you this. If I let you leave now, will you come back tomorrow at 1 o'clock in the morning? Why can't we do it now? It's pretty obvious that I'm competent counsel for myself. That's tough. The device that you won't ask. If it's not recording the device, that's fine. But you're not allowed to record during the device. So again, and I don't, you don't want to answer the question about the recording device, fine. But the board should not have any device on you tomorrow. So do you want to do this tomorrow? Or do you want to... Um, you're no longer a judge. You've been arrested for treason. You don't get a trial. You, you are guilty under wartime rules already. Oh, wow. We got a real tyrant on our hands right here. Uh, yeah, guilty until proven innocent, and he's just going to have him uh, outright uh, executed, I suppose, because he doesn't believe in due process. I mean, come on now, dude. I mean, you're dealing with an actual judge here who knows a lot better than you do, and I doubt these bailiffs will even support you in this matter because you, quite frankly are totally batshit insane. I need you to understand that, um, I, that I'm unable to complete these proceedings right now because you don't answer my questions. Or I'm giving off to you to come back tomorrow. Which would you like to do? At uh, this time, I'm placing you under arrest under Oregon uh, ORS 133.225. Uh, the charges include extortion, deprivation of rights under color of law, conspiracy against rights, treason, domestic terrorism, and conspiracy to attempt murder under RICO. Uh, dude, this is getting to be really, really sad. You've mentioned several times that you've placed him under citizen's arrest, reading the same thing uh, at least three times, and you still haven't actually placed him in your custody. Nor ha do you have the ability to... Uh, relinquish your custody over him to the bailiffs who would then hand him over to the federal authorities, or that's how you think it should happen. I mean, so far, the judge has been ignoring you on this and trying to set up a court date for the next day. So, yeah, uh, the judge doesn't seem to care. One more chance to I'm ordering you to take this man into custody. Uh, I'm tr going to transfer custody. Are you the sergeant? Are you the ranking officer here? Yes. I am going to transfer custody to you. I need you to contact a federal agent, and this is the federal criminal complaint uh, outlining all of his gonna, charges. I'm going to try to work with you as much as possible. I'm going to give you no chance to come back tomorrow. Uh, I'm ready to proceed with the hearing today. And I'm here today, and I'm handicapped, so I'm not going to be going through a whole bunch of unnecessary and extra steps, because that's not equal protection under the law, which is my 14th Amendment requirement. Uh, dude, if you stripped uh, this judge of his power already, why are you still trying to talk to him as if he has any power over you? I mean... Someone with real power and authority would have already had him in cuffs by now, you moron, and uh, been done with it. I am guaranteed equal protection under the law. That means that I don't have 10 hearings. I have the same amount of hearings as what's standard. I'm here ready to, ready to talk about whatever you want. You're the one refusing. And honestly, I'm going to tack on a uh, disrupting my business a state charge if you do that. Oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> even though you're willing to talk about anything I want, is that a recording device? I don't know, answer questions pursuant to my Fifth Amendment right. Talk about anything I want. Well, anyway, yeah. I'm trying to make this with the walker. I'm holding you in 10 30 days custody. Uh, Your Honor, who's the complainant? Uh, there is no complainant. Exactly. I have a Fourth Amendment right not to be seized without a warrant. 
uh, I need a federal agent here to deal with this federal complaint. There is no complainant. Lawyers, you guys know there's no complainant. That means I cannot be seized without a warrant. You cannot get a warrant unless you have an injured complainant that is going to sign a statement of damages. You don't have that for the original case. So this original case is not legitimate in any way. There's no complainant. And I actually moved to uh, suppress the warrant because it's illegal on those grounds. And I also moved to dismiss the case because there's no, uh, there's no warrant, there's no complainant. And I have a right to face my accuser. That'll be a Sixth Amendment right. And there is no accuser. There is no crime. I've never been accused of a crime. You don't. Uh, your charging document doesn't even have a complainant listed or anything. I'm not sure. Okay, I'll give you one more chance. You want to try this again tomorrow without a recording device, or am I going to continue to hold you in contempt? Under duress, I I will go ahead. I, I mean, hold on a second. You're saying I'm going to jail no matter what? No, nope. I'll give you a chance to come back tomorrow if you come back without any devices and cooperate with me tomorrow. And. Uh, I will agree to that under duress. Okay, so come back tomorrow. I'm not going to hold you in contempt. Uh, no devices, nothing that beeps or shines that they could possibly record. And then we're going to go over. Uh, uh, what about my? For, am I? Do I have a Fourth Amendment right to be secure in my property? Can't I have whatever property I? You cannot take whatever property you want wherever you want. Fourth Amendment rights protect you from taking your property. But isn't this a public trial? You can't bring a gun in here. That's your property. Well, this is public property, and I have a Second Amendment, so actually. Do you want to do you want to come back to law and cooperate, or do you want to go to jail? Let me know the appearance of it. Well, if you're asking me what I want, I'd rather proceed right now. But I, I certainly don't want to go to jail, so I will come back tomorrow if that's the only option available. Well, that's not the only option. You know the other one, but I think it's a better option. Right. So we're going to try this again tomorrow. I need you to cooperate with me. I'm not trying to throw you in jail. I don't have to. I have to get through this hearing. So we'll see you tomorrow at 1 o'clock, and I need you to not have any devices. And just answer my questions. I'm not charging you with anything. The state's charging you with crime. I just need to get through it to be a case to so, okay? I understand, Your Honor. I appreciate your uh, sympathy. Okay. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow at 1 o'clock, okay? Okay. okay. Uh, one other thing, though. At trial, we will be bringing up the confrontation clause again. Yeah, so absolutely fine. Okay. We need to get through several steps before we go. Okay. Okay. See you tomorrow. Okay, okay, so the judge still remains at his bench and uh, not arrested by this uh, rather brain-dead softard. But like I promised you, I'm going to show you the uh, audio recording that he posted only an hour before I started this video. And basically it is just his uh, pre-trial arraignment and everything like that where he pleads guilty or not guilty, blah, blah, blah. But we also get to hear what he's charged with. And by the end of the uh, audio recording, he still tries it. He still tries to uh, do a citizen's arrest on the judge. All right. Please be seated. Do you understand all the rights, all the privileges, and all the advantages you give up when you receive without an attorney that's listed in this bill? Um, I comprehend what they're saying. Okay. And uh, do you understand that you uh, have a right to discovery? That means the state has a file on the case. I don't know what's in your particular file for the DA's office, but if you want a copy of some of that file, that the police reports are right on that file, you can go to their office and get a copy of that. You can get a copy of the hospital. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Do you understand uh, that you're currently being charged um, with attempted unlawful delivery of schedule one controlled substance, which is a class B felony, maximum penalty is 10 years in prison, 
of them went high up to $150,000. And then count was listed on the agenda as count three, but it's actually count two. The law possession of a schedule one controlled substance, which is a possibly misdemeanor. Maximum is committed as count for the ER by $6,000. Oh, crap. This uh, solved hard is not only a solved hard, but he's a freaking drug dealer as well. I mean, he had that much ready to sell to students. Uh, yeah, uh, dude, I, if you are convicted over this, I hope they put you away for a long, long time. Um, actually, I think the first citation is wrong um, because I believe that citation, when you look it up, is actually a class A misdemeanor. Uh, no, uh, the judge had it correct. Uh, that was a Schedule One drug that you apparently had possession of and uh, had the intent to distribute to minors, for that matter, and it makes it a Class A felony. So, dude, you are facing a lot of time. I'm just telling you what the state has charged for that. It's very wrong. Well, just telling you, I just want you to know that's what you're uh, besides the discrepancy, I suppose I, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, shouldn't it be corrected before I understand it? I am not asking if you understand um, the severity of the charge. I'm asking you if you just simply understand what they charge you with. Well, right, but I'm saying that if the citation is not a Class B misdemeanor, then, uh, which it's not, when you look it up, that citation is a Class A uh, uh, felony. Uh, they charge you with attempted a lawful delivery of Schedule 1 controlled substance, but when you attempt a crime, it drops it from uh, one level. So from an A felony to a B felony, you attempt a misdemeanor. So, do you understand those are the charges against you? I believe that the level of the charge has to do with the narcotic schedule. Yeah, I am not, again, not, I didn't charge you with anything. The state charge. I'm just telling you, you understand that that's what they charge you with. Whether it's right or wrong, you understand that that's what they charge you with. I've read the paper and I know what it says. Okay. And then if you understand you can change your mind at any time and you want to train later on, you can always hire them or hire them later on. Yes. Okay. Knowing all that, everything in this waiver form, everything I've gone over, do you still wish to proceed with down the train? Yes. Okay. Accept your waiver, finds knowing, voluntarily, and telling me made. I can do uh, one of two things today. Uh, number one is if you want your day of trial, then I can go ahead and have your please do you and set this to trial. Uh, the option number two is uh, if you want more time before you enter a plea, I can set a, a plea date at a later time and have you come back before I enter a plea. What would you do for it? I'll be not guilty now. Okay. Uh, you're not guilty for the record. Trial. Other parties are available for trial on September 16th and 17th. You're asking me? Basketball. I would say yes. Yeah. No. Great. Okay, thank you. Uh, Your Honor, I'd like to take this opportunity to go ahead and place the prosecution under arrest for treatment. Um, I'm going to go ahead and transfer custody to you. So once again, he's butthurt about uh, what he's facing, and he decides to take it out on the judge once again. Uh, 
saying that he's going to citizen's arrest the judge, but looks like it didn't work out very well for him in this particular scenario. Not to mention that all these charges he's got, he's facing a minimum of 10 years in prison. Oh my goodness, dude. Uh, you really, really messed up, didn't you? I mean... Wow. And you want to go pro se in this case? Well, dude, uh, yeah, you better get ready to enjoy your next uh, decade or so in uh, your local prison because there you'll get three hots and a cot. And, uh, well, Bubba will put you to sleep every freaking night after that. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen read to anything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not. No, sexual oriented protection. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll f***ing leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the Third Amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. <clears throat> that sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead, uh, per the um, the uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so, with that said, um, I've got too many entities. I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need your name, and date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to. Jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. You want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. So that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the posted speed limit. It, yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, That's a 25. No, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. Okay. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. Hello, ma'am. Hi. How are you? Okay. I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave. Okay. Why? I've been calling after you. You know you are not to be on campus. No. You put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys are arresting me for nothing. No. You know you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Cause you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.